Hi friend, in this video we will talk about how to find second highest salary or nth highest salary in easy way. For this question I am using the employee table. In this employee table you will see three columns employee number, employee name and salary. So I want to populate second highest salary or nth highest salary by using the max aggregator. So if I run this query what you will get you will see the maximum salary from the employee table right so what if if i select apart from this whatever the maximum number is i want to populate this by ignoring the first maximum value i want to populate the maximum number what i am trying to say here is where salary less than or not equals to this one by ignoring the first number, you are populating the maximum value. So this is my second highest salary, right? So here I am getting the first highest salary. By ignoring this record, whatever the number you have it maximum, that value you are populating. So that is your second highest salary, right? For your understanding, I display the data in order by salary in descending order order by salary in descending order so this is your first highest salary this is your second highest salary so by ignoring this we are populating the max highest salary so what is the max highest salary in this result set this is the max result set by ignoring the first so this is my second uh, highest salary right so that is what i am doing here I am populating the max highest salary by ignoring this whatever the salary is max that number I am populating. So you will see 3000. If you want to cross check this is the ordered data set based on salary. This is first and this is the second number. So if they ask you to populate third highest salary you can follow the same approach by using the for second you are ignored first right for third you need to ignore second and first i want to populate third highest salary so you need to ignore first and second highest salary so this is your third this is second 3000 is second and uh, 2975 is our third highest salary but uh, here one disadvantage is if the number is increasing the readability is also a bit difficult right suppose if they ask you to populate seventh highest salary it is very difficult so due to that reason we will talk about one more approach that is very easy and you can populate whatever the number they are asking so the second approach by using the dense rank by using the dense rank we will populate the second highest salary So for that I am creating one variable here. My variable name is hint highest salary. Basically I want to populate in that variable whatever the number I need. For example if I want to populate second highest salary that value I will populate here. So apart from these columns I will generate one more column by using the dense rank. Here I will populate those ranking based on the salary order by salary in descending order I'm generating the ranking based on the salary in descending order here you can give one column name if I execute this query you will see ranking for highest salary you will see rank 1 for second highest salary you will see rank 2 how dense rank will work is basically dense rank will generate the ranking based on the specified partition and order by so here we specified order by salary in descending order so first of all it will populate the data in salary in descending order and here it will generate the ranking for highest salary it will generate rank 1 for second highest salary it will generate rank 2 for third it will generate the rank 3 for fourth same 
4 number. So once the order is generated based on this new column, you can filter out the data. So the column is generated. You can use CTE here to store this result set. Select. If I use star here, you will see this extra column also. I don't need that column. So I need only three columns from your CTE. If I execute, you will see all the records. But I need only, I will take help from the new column. The rank equals to two. If I specified two, you will see second highest salary. This is your second highest salary. Or else you can use this variable. Same data. This is my second higher salary. If they ask you to populate third higher salary, just change the number. You will see the third higher salary. So here, one more advantage is you can play around with these columns. Whatever the columns they are asking you to populate, those columns only you can populate based on the requirement. So here, it, I feel this is the best approach to populate the second higher salary or nth highest salary by using the dense rank. Apart from this, max. And we have other approaches also. We can use top or other approaches also. But I feel this is the best approach to populate the second highest salary or nth highest salary. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. If you have any doubts, please comment on this video.